Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. Now, as you know, last episode we bought a new boat called the Ocean Runner. Now, of course, uh, the last boat that we bought, I didn't necessarily give you all time to uh, name the boat. So th whatever y'all name that boat, I'll probably just name this boat until the uh, episodes catch up with where I'm at. Uh, but until then, we are on the Ocean Runner. We can hold 40 lines okay now 40 lines and then also we can have 88,000 pounds which is kind of weird because it was 130 some last time so we might have to take a look at that but 88,000 pounds so we uh in the world there's a little flag <laughs> so anyway so we're out in the middle of the ocean here and uh you know i just figured hey we might as well be right next to the uh right next to the the lines when we pick them up and then we gotta run up to uh probably dennis port or something like that because uh that's yeah dennis point uh it's the closest one and then we'll come pick up the rest but yeah i mean uh, this is a big boat i need to check on the storage because i swear to you i'll look at the birds look at the birds we are definitely in the fish here 100 percent. but anyway the the crew we got we got one guy repairing i don't know what you know he's gonna rep be repairing Oh, too many, too many back buttons. But, you know, just figured, hey, you might as well uh, do something worth, you know, doing. So, uh, but yeah, this boat can also uh, do swordfish, tuna, long lines for, like, haddock and everything else. Plus, lobster. I mean, it's just basically a jack-of-all-trades here. So, I mean, that's why I uh, I picked it, and it's really big. But I, I need to check on the uh, storage. I mean... Because I, I think it was 130 some, but uh, we'll just have to see. Holy mackerel! The first line was 2,000 pounds. You might as well say that's a few pounds, huh? A ton of fish, <laughs> literally. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to be picking up these lines here, and uh, we will definitely, you know, go pick up the other ones and, and just see. You know what? I'm, I'm actually happy that uh, we got this boat. I was going to get another boat that uh, was humongous for uh, lines and nets and stuff like that, but uh, it just, it was six million dollars, and this one was like only seven hundred thousand. Yeah, we only had one fish on that line for some reason. So we're going to have to move very soon, just because of the fact of, uh, I've been fishing here for probably like four or five sets now, and uh, so we're going to be having to move just due to that. But, I mean, there, there's been fish on top of the water all over this place. And that's why I pretty much decorated this this whole, like, whole shelf here. Like, right in here, this whole shelf, we uh, we decorated with, with lines just because there was fish and tuna on the surface. So, uh, I was like, you know what? We're going to be doing that. And then our quota is barely even filled because we got a new boat. Uh, right here. 352,000. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead and have one. 1400 pounds of fish on that one and, and this is i think on the like 12 lines or something like that so we don't have a lot of lines here but we have 40 all together when i come out so we have 52 lines out in the water right now and uh we're definitely probably gonna have to drop some off and hopefully we can do that before these six lines or uh before the 40 lines are up yeah for some reason we're only catching one and two we caught three on the first line, so we're going to have to be watching out for that. So uh, we're definitely going to have to be uh, moving around after this just because of the fact of uh, the fish are kind of either being uh, depopulated again because we're good at that. But see, look, there's there's tuna or swordfish on the top right here. So, I mean, there's there's fish here. I mean, it's just we got to uh, get them to bite. And so, uh, you know, I don't want to take out all the... Uh, all the fish in the, in the surrounding area but uh I mean, there's still fish here so that that's the biggest thing you know do you do you leave when the fish are there or do you save the population for other people to catch the fish i mean it's kind of like mm, don't know what to do but uh we might we might do a little bit uh, of uh exploring to do around here and, and we'll see and we'll just sneak up to these guys hey how's it going that guy ain't even doing nothing 1100 pounds ain't terrible Hopefully my other lines are doing good, because if, if my other lines are doing this well, or even half as well, we'll be doing pretty good. 
We got a million dollars, 1.1 million. Oh, there's a three liner right there. But yeah, see, look, all these fish up on the top of the. I mean, this is when we need the harpoon boat right now. I mean, we could fill up the boat in no time. But of course, uh, you know, all these fish wasn't here when I was doing the harpoon in that one episode. So I was like, you know what? I'll just take the loan and, and move it because it's going to be 10 times easier. So that's what we did. And uh, right now it's actually been uh, quite profitable. 1,700 pounds. What day is it? Oh, no, it's right here. August 24th. So we have like uh, one more month, for, I believe, for uh, tuna. And then I don't know what happens if it's out of out of season. I don't know if you can still catch them or if you get fined. I don't. I don't know. There's only two tunas on this one. Two tunas. Looks like we got four more lines to go. Let's see. Yeah, four more lines. But look at all the fish on the surface. Just they're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. So I don't know. I mean, uh, we might go and, and drop here again, or, or we might not. I, I don't know yet. But then again, we will have 40 lines, so we might, depending on uh, what what happens, we might pick up about 30 more lines and then come out and then uh, mm, looks like more tuna. But we might uh, get about 30 lines and they come out and then set them somewhere and then figure out what we're doing there or we might not I don't know yet but I don't want to sell these uh, 6 or 12 lines however many it was it just because of also the fact of uh, you know they cost like 1500 a line <laughs> and I don't want to lose all that money it don't cost a whole lot to, uh, to bait them 1700 pounds holy mackerel and we're only at 11,000 pounds. Come on. You know, sometimes it really seems like you can feel uh, the weight on the boat. Oh, we got three more tuna. Gee whiz. This must be a, a mackerel screen. Or, uh, is it mackerel? Let's see. Herring. I think it's herring. Yeah. They must all be herring. Holy crap. I have a lot of herring. <laughs> Yeah, oh well. Oh, too many too many buttons. What's the weather supposed to be like? 14.9, 8.7. Oh, it's supposed to rain on Wednesday. Not in real life, because it's hunting season in real life, you know, and Oh dang it. Nineteen hundred pounds, so we're still on the fish. But yeah, it's hunting season right now and it hasn't rained in probably a good week. And uh, you know, when you're hunting out there, uh, especially here you you like it to rain a little bit, but you can only do so much, because if the weather doesn't want to cooperate, then, you know, what, what are you going to do about it? Mother Nature's going to do what Mother Nature does. Oh, that was a perfect one. See, look, and all these, all these fish out here still. So they might be, instead of, like, up here, like they were, they might be down here. And then I put all these lines up here, so, I mean, yeah, we'll figure out if that was a smart or bad idea. But now that we have 40 lines, now we can, like, you know, surround them and see where the fish is going thousand pounds and we got one more before we have to run in yeah, we'll move you because no I keep doing that every time I keep doing escape because I, I think that escape uh, will block it out but it won't and I don't know why I keep doing it and we got one on this one come on all the all, are you guys ain't hungry what's wrong with you So once he gets this one in, I mean, like this is already half the half the boat weight of the last one. So, so we'll just go to Dennis Port because it's closest. To five hours. What's this at? Mm, Fourteen. Yeah. I mean, it, we we gotta go here. I mean, I don't I don't really care what the uh, what the uh, prices are. I mean, they could be good. They could be terrible. I don't know. Uh, but just because of the, Thomas is too tired to work. Well, that sucks for Thomas, doesn't it? 239000 Okay, we can do that. And uh, let's do fishing gear. Uh, okay. So, I was trying to figure out how to... Oh, there we go. Uh, let's do... Six. 
and then unbaited we'll do the rest with ah oh, crap ah oh, crap there we go the rest and then eh, what well, might as well let's let's get 18 more and oh, come on there we go 18 and then we'll bait the deep lines we'll go to the bottom and then basically we'll just is this one good for swordfish no we need we need the swordfish one there we go ding super loud okay next thing is let's get some fuel 808 dollars ain't bad and let's get out of here dismiss all come on come on darling come on come on because i got you know oh here i guess we can oh that guy got too tired of work too damn bad Oh, I'm too tired to work. Who cares? Oh, shut up. Ooh, we don't, we got pretty close to that dock right there. Well, wouldn't be the first time in my life I ever hit a dock. But then again, you know, my brother, he smacks into the daggum island at Shasta Lake. And I know he's watching this, so therefore, you know, I gave out a secret. I'm sorry. Not really. Oh my goodness, look at all that. This is going to be phenomenal. Look, all of them are blue. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy, howdy. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're setting back. And uh, 29, okay, dismiss all. Let's get some work lights. There we go. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be... Uh, here, we'll do this one. And this guy. We'll get that. Who is that? Anyway. Graham Oakley? Okay, are you good at deep one? Okay. Whatever. That works. Almost hit the escape button. There. You're not tired no more. Get to work. No, it's not straight, but oh well. I'll set one here and then we'll just go on. I mean, we are going to make so much money. I cannot wait. So much money. I'm actually... Oh, crap, I didn't check the storage. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't check the storage. And that was the one thing that we are supposed to be doing. The one thing that I wanted to do, and we didn't do it. Oh, well, look at that. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, of course I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Oh, of course I didn't see how much we caught. Oh, crap, i got to get the... Got to get the daggum, you know, mouse out of the way. 1,400 pounds. I don't know if this guy's any good at, at cooking either. Cooking. That's nah, the worst of his tricks. Good. <laughs> good. I'm glad. I'm glad I made the worst guy cook. You know, because why not? Oh, my goodness. But anyway, I'm going to try something a little bit different. And I want you guys to tell me if uh, if you like it or not. I mean, basically, I'm just going to pick up all these lines. No big deal. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do like a little time lapse here. And uh, we're going to see what we can do. And uh, yeah, as soon as all the lines are done, I'll be right back. <laughs>
I mean, this has been absolutely amazing. Just because, I mean, I have never had a four fish line before. And uh, we, we walked out of there with like, what, five or six of them? I mean, absolutely crazy. The, uh, the highest weight that I saw on one line was 2750 pounds, 2750 pounds-ish around in there. And that is absolutely remarkable. I was hoping to get the 3000 uh, pound mark. I mean, we got a few lines here that uh, we could potentially do that with. But 62,511 pounds as of right now is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, we have to go, I mean, the closest, uh, you know, to where we can get our lines back and, and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, we can actually go quite far just because of the fact that it's only been four hours. But, I mean, this this little patch right here, you know, this, this little, I mean, like, gulf or coast or bank or whatever the hell you want to call it has been absolutely amazing to me and to us basically uh, as you guys were watching along i mean it, it, it really has just because of the fact of i have fished here for probably about a week uh in game a week and uh honestly it it just continues to produce and i mean yeah i couldn't be happier couldn't be happier but hopefully these guys are uh, still going good i mean the guy's still cooking uh, this guy, you know, I just decided to throw him back in because, uh, well, he was done setting lines. So I was like, you know what, screw it, you, you go back in. He's probably the best deep line, uh, deep line guy I got. But, uh, well, um, you know, I want these guys. I think these two guys are, are uh, who i actually been working with for quite some time. Uh, Rudy and... Uh, no, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, that uh, could... Oh, well. Who cares? I don't even care anymore. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just absolutely remarkable how many pounds of fish we got. I mean, and we still not even full yet. So, I mean, uh, I don't know if the storage is uh, 132 or 133,000 pounds or if they if they updated the game and then it went down. I don't know yet. Uh, I mean, I'll figure that out as soon as we go back to the, the harbor. But I think it was 132,000 pounds. And if that was the case, then you could have a lot more than uh, what we we got, which is absolutely remarkable. I'm telling you, it's remarkable. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, as soon as we uh, figure this out and uh, we get all these lines up, then we'll go sell them and, and see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed the little time lapse there. You know, I, I want to do something a little bit different and uh, make it more uh, enjoyable. I mean, uh, I know uh, watching me go pot or line to line to line to line to line may not be the most enjoyable thing to watch in the world. Uh, so, you know, I wanted to, uh, instead of just cutting it all out, I wanted to have you guys come back with me. And, and uh, you know, if you have any uh, any opinions on it, let me know in the comments below. If you like the, uh, the uh, you know, time-lapse dealio of what's going on, then let me know. And then if you just want to go with me every single line like I did, 40, all 40 of them, then that's what we'll do too. I mean, uh, we'll do a little bit of a mix-up, but, uh, you know, as a uh, viewer standpoint, let me know. Uh, what you guys like better and uh, we'll see to uh, if if I can accommodate everybody and, and have everybody have be in a good mood and everything else but it looks like we got two more lines to go I think yeah two more lines to go and uh, we're not going to be you know we still got 22,000 pounds so we're not going to fill up the book completely but uh, we'll be pretty damn close being honest with you and uh, 1900 pounds is is not too shabby to, to be looking at and let me tell you what she right now is a stuffed Hey, let me tell you, like it's full board and we're just barely going. <laughs> She's probably like, what the hell are you doing to me here? I mean, it's pretty much like when I was out on the semi, it, it was pretty much like that. You know, when uh, when she was fully empty, she just went and, and never thought about it. But 80,000 pounds altogether, uh, she was like, what the hell are you trying to do to me? And plus I was governed at 61 miles an hour and that didn't help anything. Yet. But, uh, you know, going up a 7% grade, especially going out of Winnemucca, going northbound on highway 95 to uh to nampa in boise idaho seven percent grade for about two miles i mean it, it just went straight up and, and the top speed was like 25 miles an hour but anyway so i mean i understand where this boat's coming from but it, it actually is uh, kind of refreshing uh to see that they added the weight aspect of it you know like 69,000 pounds of fish is a lot of weight plus you got the boat itself so uh yeah pretty good and i think honestly that we're gonna have reach this quota in absolutely no time i mean because we almost 
got maybe a quarter of it or a little bit more, like right now. I mean, uh, we're going to have to watch out for the tuna aspect because we're already at 12,000 pounds, but we did get a lot of swordfish this go around. Uh, and uh, now that uh, we set the other lines out, we did do a lot of shrimp, so hopefully we'll catch more swordfish. Uh, and plus they're worth a little bit more. Missed. What the hell do you mean you missed? Okay. Well, that was kind of weird. It said missed, and then it said okay, and then nothing moved. So hopefully... Oh, well, maybe it kind of lagged out there. But anyway, I mean, they were getting pretty tired. They've been... Uh, they've been working. Come on. They've been working pretty hard. Why are you not... Come on. Whatever. You, you just stand out there then. How's that? Oh, okay. I can move you. Oh, there we go. Now I can move you. There. Go take a time off. I mean, it's up. It's what time is it? We've only been fishing for like five hours. No, no big deal. No big deal. Okay, so let's see what the fish prices are. Uh, Twenty and sixteen. Not terrible, I don't guess. I ain't going to learn the That's way the hell up the coast. Uh, and that's not great either. No, nope. come on. Ingles head. That's pretty damn good. To be honest with you, Digby. Nope. Come on. And last one. Ooh, ain't going to Dennis Point. Your mouth. Uh, look at where's Lundenberg. Okay. So, honestly, Ingalls Head is the best. So, let's actually see how far. I mean, it's way up the coast, though. It's like way over here. How long is it going to take? 13 hours? Can't do it. Can't do it. So, uh, let's go to Lockport or Yarmouth. Let's see uh, what's going on. Oh, no. Wrong one. Let's see what's going on. Yarmouth. 20 and 16. What about Lockport? 21 and 15. Okay, Yarmouth. Lockport. Okay. Well, that. Uh, so it's kind of like a toss up. What one's closer? Uh, probably this one. Let's go to Lockport. No big deal. Six hours. Six hours because we're, you know, completely full and uh we're heavy and uh yeah takes a lot <laughs> oh my goodness so honestly we're gonna have to probably move out of the spot that we're here thomas is too tired to work you know i feel like he's been complaining the most out of everybody hey where did oh there we go i was gonna say where did all my guys go <laughs> okay interesting okay fish on board holy macaroni 1.4 million dollars 1.4 million dollars. That is ridiculous. But we're going to sell that for 2.5 million dollars. Holy mackerel. That we cannot complain about. So I think we got 40 lines on. So let, we'll do... Yeah, we got 40 lines on. Okay, so we're going to be doing 20. There we go. And... Well, that was a loud ding. Uh, Underbaited... We're going to do that one and do 20. There you go. Squid and herring, so on and so forth. We didn't get as much fish as I thought we were. Or like poundage wise. Let's do upgrades. I swear to you that I got the biggest storage. Yeah. So they must have fixed it or something because... Huh. Oh well. Oh well. Who cares? Everything's the, everything's the biggest one. Autopilot? I ain't real worried about that. I just go with the flow. Uh, thruster, I'm not worried about either. So, honestly, I mean, we could get this 30%. I ain't worried about it. Ain't worried about it. Uh, let's get some fuel while we're here. Yeah, so we made $1.4 million and only paid $1,900 in, in, in fuel. And, you know, not all that much. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 1%. We'll just have the guys... Uh, you guys fix that up but anyway that's going to do it for me thank you so much for watching please leave a like comment down below and uh, subscribe if you haven't already Seventy thousand pounds holy crap you know and let me know like i said you know if you guys liked the uh the time lapse let me know if you guys wanted to watch me go along with it let me know you know uh it's as much my you know channel as yours uh you know if it i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for y'all so let me know down in the comments below Thank you, and have a great day, and you all take care.